Hello, hello, my name is Patrick, I'm a sculptor, and today we're gonna make a frog. We will make a basic body shape, add structural detail, build two back legs, shape it and form the head, add two small arms to the front, add the eyes, detail the head, shape four feet and attach them, add speckles, and bake. We won't be painting in this video, but if you'd like to learn more about painting, let me know. You will need polymer clay. I use Super Sculpey and a bit of cosplay, but use the clay you have. Aluminum foil. A conventional oven. It needs to be able to reach 275 degrees or whatever your clay package says for instructions to bake. And two pre-baked balls of clay for eyes. Use reference to help figure out the scale of these eyes. They're roughly, I think, about a quarter of an inch on mine. A little bit over a quarter of an inch. Somewhere between a quarter of an inch and half an inch. You can also use a turntable and a pasta roller like I do, but they are entirely optional. Let's go! As we get started, I always recommend printing out and finding reference images to help you keep track of the size and scale of your frog. Once you have a rough idea, take some aluminum foil and begin to create the lower body shape. It's kind of the shape of a horn or like a high heel. When you're happy with your shape, cover it with a thin layer of polymer clay. I use my pasta roller to get thin strips, but you can just flatten clay with a roller or by hand. And that's a simple body shape. Now that we have a basic structure, we can start roughing in the body shape. I add clay along the top and two strips to make the back structure of a frog. You can also widen and smooth your base with extra clay as needed. Next, we're going to add the two hind legs. A larger oval is attached near the base. A mid-sized oval is attached to that oval. And finally, a thin tube of clay is placed along the bottom to simulate the bottom of the leg. All of these are blended together to make it look like one full structure. To shape in the head, we want to add a circle of clay to the front of our body. We want to be mindful of its placement and sort of taper it into the back of the body. Blending as best we can in a natural shape. This is a great time to use your reference to help. To make the smaller front arms, we're going to roll out a tube of clay and bend it to make a V shape. We point the V away from the front and blend it into the body just in front of the back leg and below the head. And we do that on both sides. I found positioning the eyes to be difficult. They want to be on top of the head and slightly to the side. Uh, if you do mess it up, it's okay. You can always remove and try again like I did. To place them properly, I used a thin strip of clay for the upper ridge of the eye and then applied pressure to the eyeball to insert it into the slot that I've created. 
and then use a small strip of clay to make the lower eye shape. From there, it's just a matter of blending them together to make it look like a closed eye lid. At this point, I realized that some shaping of my head was wrong, so I added some clay below the jaw, and I used a strip of clay for an upper lip and blended it in. Finally, I poked two holes for nostrils. To make the feet, I used a ball of cos clay, attached four small tubes of clay to each ball, and I blended them into the ball. Then I shaped them into position, and finally blended each foot onto the legs at the back and the front. Remember the back feet are slightly bigger than the front feet. Finally, I placed the frog on my table and began rolling out small balls of clay of various sizes. I used random sizes and random placement. I roughly worked from in between the eyes all the way down the back. I even added some extra ones where I felt they would add some nice detail like at the legs and the knees and various places. Finally, I baked the project following the instructions from my clay provider. And with that, let's check out the final result.
And there we go, a happy frog ready to hop into our hearts. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm trying to grow this channel and figure out how to make compelling videos. If you did enjoy this one, please let me know. Feel free to share it. It really helps me out. Make sure you check out some of the other content here. I've got original characters, art encouragement, and I recently started world building, so check them out. And with that, till next time, keep being awesome. <laughs>